Good morning, day 27. I can't believe we've been sleeping in this truck bed camper for 27 days now. Anyways, we are getting ready to leave Athens, Georgia. It has been fun and Athens has definitely been good to us. We liked it a lot here and we definitely want to come back. But today is a road day, so we are heading over to Savannah. So stay tuned as we get out of here and see what happens there. I'm not sure if it's just a setting up kind of day, depending on the time we get there, or if we're gonna do some exploring. You're gonna have to stick around to find out what's gonna happen. We don't wanna be bad patrons. So we obviously went inside and got some espresso. So there's our espresso to give us a nice kick. And then there is our coffee that she's working on so we can sip and enjoy. <laughs> excited and Lexi she's road ready our road days it's all napping 120 miles down and the whole time has been roads like this just one way well just one lane each way ranging anywhere from 25 miles an hour to 55 miles an hour and it constantly fluctuates now I completely understand why the guesstimate was almost like four hour ride from Athens to Savannah. But we got another 137 more to go. So let's see, hopefully we hit a big road soon because I am starting to feel starved. All right, time to eat. I have a huddle house over here. Never been. I took a picture, but I completely forgot to record. So this is my stuffed hash browns. And <laughs> Lou's done with her eggs. <laughs> she still has one biscuit and gravy and some grits. Alright, so one more stop. Um, we stopped to top off the gas and to grab something to cook tonight because Lou said that after four hours of driving that she does not want to go out. We want to set up and then just chill out inside the truck bed. And I reminded her that we already cooked the last meal. So we stopped here at a Publix. So happy to see Publix finally down south. Um, and got some salmon pinwheels. So it's like crabbed with stuffed with crab and then the same salad mix that we made um the night before last if you saw that video two weeks ago anyways great salad mix if you didn't see it then you'll see it tonight so i'll show it to you it has lots of great things in it so that'll be dinner salmon and salad cooked here in the truck bed camper waiting for lou to come out and then time to hit the road again you know what while i wait let's go ahead and review it it is a sweet kale mix and it has broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, kale, chicory, dried camp cranberries, seeds, and poppy seed dressing. This was good, but we're probably going to opt out of that again this time around and just use EVO just so that it will be healthier. But yeah, this was a great mix. And then that will be served with the star of the dish, which is the salmon pinwheels. Um, we absolutely love these. They're stuffed with crab. And they look really thick, especially at that price. I'm sure they're really thick. So looking forward to dinner tonight. All right, we have arrived at our destination here in Savannah, Georgia. Um, we're staying at a Boondockers Welcome. This um, lady has like, I think, eight acres. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm with Lou when she comes back. Lou is exploring the property. Um, because it's beautiful she has a tab she has a boat she has a beautiful home and two very large friendly dogs um, and I stayed behind to basically connect all the electricity so we've got our fans running because it is hot um, got our phones plugged in got the fridge plugged in and uh, fed Lexi so oh actually Lou just got back so let's ask remind me to how many acres is this property? I believe it's eight. Eight acres. That's what I thought it was. And I let them know that you're out exploring while I was getting us connected and feeding Lexi. I did a 360, basically. It's very <laughs> lush. It's very lush out here. It's gorgeous. It's Look lush. at the trees back yeah, there. Yeah, lots of moss. It's really beautiful. 
yeah. very natural, like a nature tree of some sort. Yeah, I think we can see. There's the tab from here. There's her tab. <laughs> yeah. So we're just basically settling in tonight. We're not going anywhere. I showed you guys what I got for dinner from Publix, so we'll be cooking that a little later. But for now, it's just a matter of relaxing and chilling out. So there's not much to vlog while I am laying here. I'm going to be cuddling up with this munchkin. <laughs> she just ate, so she's tired. <laughs> and we'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Had to put up my hair because it is a little hot <laughs> in here. It's a little toasty. It's a little toasty. <laughs> um, so Lou suggested let's pop open one of the beers that we got at like that fresh market store or something. I think you suggested. You did? Well, I suggested. suggested. And then I said, well, your tummy's upset. So no. And then a little while later, she's like, hey, you want to share a beer? I'm like, that's what I just said. <laughs> but I guess your tummy's better. So I randomly pulled one out of the fridge. And let's see if it'll show the little icon. Aha. We're going with the s'mores. How do you know it's the s'mores? Because look at the remember? marshmallow oh, on the yeah. stick with the fire. Yeah. So that's the s'mores one. We did, Lou did cut the box. Yeah. So whenever we take them out, we would know which is which. That one's an obvious picture. The this other ones, we might need the box to see what it is. This one says Imperial Stout brewed with chocolate, vanilla, and cinnamon. So excited. <laughs> cinnamon and a beer. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's pop this baby open and give her a taste. Oh, it smells good. Does it? Yeah, you want to smell? Yes. I can't smell. I'm oh, congested. I'm, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. Yes, be sorry for me. Muchas gracias. Look what at that. To my Look at that. What happened to my cup? <laughs> oh, there. So the second one, like she's staring at the beer, like, are you sharing? <laughs> All right, go for the taste test. Cheers, Cheers to exploring Savannah Smells these next great. couple of days. I love the foam on it. I do too. It's like it, looks, con leche. it does look like African leche. I am so worried right now. It's very good. Oh, I'm like, I'm not getting a reaction. I'm so worried. It's very good. I don't taste any cinnamon, though. No. But it's very good stuff. Let's see. I guess my turn. I guess my turn. Yeah, I can't smell it. I'm really congested. I've been sneezing a lot today. It is a good stout. I would never suspect that it's a s'mores flavor. But it's very good, and the aftertaste is awesome. You found my salad. I did. I love a salad. I know you do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Well, we are just gonna hang out and chit chat, and we'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Wanted to bust this open with you and let you know how it is. Highly recommended. It. It's yummy. Right. This is RV Lane in here. Maybe tomorrow we'll park on a different part of the property. <laughs> we'll see. All right, it is time to get to cooking. Lou is actually outside plugging in our e-bikes so that we can use them tomorrow. Just took out the salmon from the fridge. Got our so stove set up. I always put it with a gas tank that way so like that the flame isn't as close to our curtains. And took out the pan going to spray it with some EVO or olive oil cooking spray and throw it on there. That's basically it. I'm not seasoning it or anything. Salmon is perfect as is. All we'll need to do is sprinkle some salt on it. Go ahead and spray this first. Turn this baby on. Perfect. I'm gonna wait for that to get a little hot and then throw the salmon on. I can actually smell that EV. Oh, oh, already getting hot. So I'm just gonna grab this and flip it around. And there it goes. Looks like one has a lot more crab than the other, or it's ready to spill out.
All right, first flip was done. I had to turn on the, the truck light so that you can see it well, because it's a little dark in here. But that's looking awesome. And getting the salad going over here. About to bust open an avocado. And so we are served. There's the avocado and the salad and the pinwheel of salmon. So stuffed with crab meat. It is time to chow down in here. Dinner is done. It was super delicious, super filling. It was a great first meal to have here in Savannah. Did you enjoy your salmon? She kind of wished that I did it, fried it in butter. <laughs> but um, it was so good with the spray. But I'm happy that it wasn't fried in salmon because that way I didn't eat the entire pinwheel. <laughs> yeah, she did leave some behind. I will be throwing that in a Ziploc bag and putting it in the fridge because that'll be good in a sandwich or in a wrap or even over a salad as leftovers, even though I'm sure that we're going to be eating out almost every day here because born savannah <laughs> so not sure but not wasting it yet i am however brewing some tea for lou and for lexi let's flip this around so we've got the tea kettle going lexi believe it or not instead of drinking water she drinks tea um it was recommended by her vet this is linden flower tea um we also call it thilo i don't understand why it ends with an A because we call it Thilo, but that's fine. Um, Linden flower tea basically helps her anxiety. Um, she also drinks chamomile tea, which helps with her stomach issues because Lexi has a very sensitive stomach. So that's the two teas that she drinks, rarely drinks water. And then Lou is having, um, what is she having? Ginger and turmeric tea. So getting that going for them. And then it'll probably be a Netflix night. And done. Now it's just a matter of letting it seep for a little bit. Lexi's is a little bit different though because hers will probably sit in here all night just because I need it to cool down. Um, I don't want it to be really hot because I'm going to stick it inside of a water bottle and then put it in the fridge. And it's not good to put really hot items in the fridge because we don't want it to grow bacteria. So this will just sit out all night and then in the fridge tomorrow. So we left the top open to get air in. Got a citronella candle. Lou's watching YouTube. Lexi's knocked out, pressed up against me instead of in her bed. And I will be turning on Netflix. I just finished The Kingdom and I'm starting The Frontier. So, we are going to go ahead and end this vlog here. So if you enjoyed our um, day on the road, <laughs> our travel day, uh, please give us a big thumbs up. Definitely comment down below. We love interacting with you guys in the comments. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, subscribe the subscribe <laughs> button now. Make sure you click on the notification bell. Look at this hair. <laughs> Look at that Make hair. sure that you click on the notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. That's truck bed camping here. Same as this. That's all it is. <laughs> Bye guys.